Hey guys and welcome back to an exclusive video on Trading Fight. This is the channel that provides you with various informative content on the stock market as well as technical analysis. So, in our today's video, we will be discussing about some of the traps that are set in the market. Why you know some of the so-called operators of the market? And one thing special about these traps is that these type of traps can occur even when your analysis, your strategy about the market is completely accurate. Yes, this is something really surprising about them. And in this video, we will understand what are these traps, how will you protect your money from such traps, how can you protect your capital from huge losses. And you might not know that most of the beginners in the market, most of the beginner traders, the new traders who do not have much experience about the market, fall for such type of traps. So if you are a trader who wants to keep his capital safe, who wants to trade safely, make sure you are watching this video till the end. Do not skip this video. And one more thing. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you do it so that you won't miss any upcoming videos and updates about the market. So let us start with our video. So you know the number one trap which is set in the market is candlestick pattern failure. So the pattern failure is one of the trap which is set in the market. And if in case you don't know what is candlestick pattern, I have made several videos on it. You can just check out the description. Let me tell you that there is a saying in the market which is no candlestick pattern, no chart pattern, no indicator, no strategy or setup is 100% accurate in the market. If you trade very precisely on the candlestick pattern or any chart pattern, your accuracy can be as high as possible but not 100%. So always remember that while you are trading, your analysis can also go wrong when such pattern failure or candlestick pattern failure occurs. Now let us understand this candlestick pattern failure with an example. Now as you see on your screen, a pattern is being formed after a downtrend uh, and this pattern is called as morning star pattern which indicates that the market will change the trend, the market will change the direction to an uptrend. That means the market will go bullish. So you see when the morning star pattern is formed, it gives us a buy signal and we can say that it is more logical to buy on this pattern. But in case of a pattern failure, the price will go in opposite direction which is depicted by the pattern. Like if the pattern shows a bullish signal, a bullish reversal in the market, but the market still continues to go down instead of showing an uptrend, it is called as pattern failure. And if you would have taken the trade on this pattern, you will be making loss. Instead of correct analysis, your so called accurate analysis. And here, someone else will be making profit from your loss due to this failure in the pattern. And such failure don't only occur in morning star pattern, it can occur in any pattern like the bullish angle thing or in the case of an evening star pattern which shows a bearish reversal in the market. That means you got to be selling the price. But if there is a pattern failure, the price will start moving upward. And here it will be you who is making loss. That is what candlestick pattern failure is. Now let us understand the second trap which is the bull trap. From the name you can understand that this is the type of trap which is set for the bulls, the buyers of the market. And since most of the traders, most of the new traders especially in the market are mostly buyers because they don't have much capital to short sell. So eventually most of them are buyers. So you understand this is the trap which is set for the newcomers in the market, the new beginners in the market. And one example of this trap you can see in a sideways market where the price is taking resistance and support on two different levels. And you see in case of bull trap. The price first gives a breakout to the resistance. As you see on your screen, there is a breakout which is given by the price. And as we know, if there is a breakout from the resistance side, the market will be going bullish. So most of the buyers will enter in this trade when it gives a breakout. But what happens after this breakout is that the price again gets back to its sideways range. Which means the one who bought, the one who entered the trade will fall for the trap and will be making huge losses. And that is why this type of trap is called as the bull trap which picks out money from the pocket of the buyers. And this type of trap not necessary will only occur in a sideways range. Such type of trap can also occur in a pattern. Like you see on the screen, this is an ascending triangle pattern. And when the breakout is given, the buyers enter who are having a bullish view and the buyers who are bullish will be making loss despite of their proper technical analysis, their proper and accurate prediction about the market. So that's how a bull trap works. Now let us understand the third trap which is the bear trap and you might have guessed that this type of trap is set for the bears these are the ones who short the price so if we take the previous example of the sideways range which is stuck somewhere between a resistance and a support so what happens in case of bear trap is that the price will give a breakout from this support you see on your screen a breakout 
is given by the price from the support. So we of course know that if the breakout is given from the support, it is a sell signal. The price is breaking the support, it might form a lower high and lower low pattern, which is a downtrend pattern. So most of the sellers enter the trade over here. That is, they short the price. Instead of going down, what happens is that the price again goes back to the sideways range, which indicates that there was a trap which was set for the sellers. So eventually, the pairs end up making loss. And as a trader, I know that this thing really hurts. That you seriously follow the pattern. You properly understand the sentiment of the market to analyze the market properly, but still end up making loss because you realize your whole analysis was just a part of the trap. And this type of bear trap can occur in any pattern like the descending triangle pattern as you see on your screen, the double top pattern, which after giving a breakout from the support still moves upward. That's how this trap can occur in any pattern. So if you have watched this video, a question might arise in your mind that how will you protect your money, how will you protect your capital from this trap, is there any way, is there any process or is there any indicator and fortunately the answer is yes, there is a way, there is a step driven process to protect your capital from these traps but let me tell you that this process will not completely eliminate the failures in the market but it will help the trader reduce them or reduce the loss which is caused due to this failure. The first step is to have a stop loss in place while trading. Yes, it is really important to have a stop loss while you are trading. And if in case you don't know what a stop loss is, I have made a separate video on it. The link will be flashing above or you might find it in the description. So always remember that when you are trading, it is really necessary to have a stop loss. Like you see in this pattern, a breakout is given which indicates a bullish movement and you want to enter this trade, you want to buy the stock but one side you fear that this can be a trap which will cause you huge loss and on the other side you have fear of missing out the trade so in this case what you will do is enter the trade but you will place a stop loss just below the breakout level or, or below the pattern which is formed so if you even go wrong you will end up making a very small loss which is I think should be affordable by every trader and if the trade goes into your favor, it goes according to your analysis, you will make profit. But the risk what you take is a very small loss. That's how a stop loss works. So remember this golden rule of trading that is, always place the stop loss in your trade. And remember that not placing the stop loss is the biggest mistake that a trader can do. One trap, one wrong movement, one wrong analysis is enough to wipe your whole capital. So always remember to place the stop loss. Next what you can do is, before taking the trade, wait for the confirmation of the pattern. Now what do you mean by confirmation of pattern? Just observe on the screen. You see a breakout is given. That means you have to buy. But what you do is that you don't buy on this breakout. Instead you will buy on the confirmation of this breakout. You see this pullback of the price confirms the breakout, confirms the uptrend that confirms the uptrend and tells us that there was no trap which was set and here I will buy after this confirmation and place a stop loss just below the low and over here you see smaller loss and a greater profit can be taken out from this trade so you understand that's how you eliminate the risk of trap from your trade that's how the professional trader make money in the market remember that running behind the money running behind the trade running behind the tips won't make you successful in the market you can only be successful if you have a proper system, a proper mindset to trade. Okay, so that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this till the end. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Share this video as much as possible. And do not miss such many content on the stock market as well as technical analysis. Subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next video.